Good morning. It's another day here at the Bear Cave, and I've got a little something different. Um, so years ago, there was a lady that came out on the Food Network. There was two of them that I really connected with. Uh, Damaris, uh, I forget her last name, but she was like a southern girl going around. She did some different Food Network shows. And then there was another lady, uh, Nikki Dinky. And what, what got me with her was she was a home cook. And, you know, slightly a little more fancier, you know, it was plating, right? So she came out with her own cookbook several years ago, and I got it. And the reason why I got it was because we were trying to eat more vegetables and trying to find more things to do with sides. Meat on the side. Her husband, in this book, she says that her husband is mainly vegetarian, so... She fixes more um, more vegetable based with meat on the side. So your meat is the side dish to the star of the show. So I had found a recipe in here for um, Skeddy squash mac and cheese. Loved it, loved it. And it actually turned me on to Skeddy squash in a whole different, different light. So anyway, we're gonna get into this and uh, I'll show you what I got. Cheers. Alright, so here we have a book. Vegetable Focused, Nikki, Nikki Dinky. I talked about it in the intro. There is a recipe here that I have made and I really enjoy. And the Skeddy Squash Mac and Cheese with Green Chilies and I'm not going to have chicken, so, but we're going to put the green chilies in there, so I'm going to make this keto. How? Let me show you. So the cast of characters for our roux and our topping is going to be heavy whipping cream, uh, some, I got some triple cheddar, some mozzarella, some onions, a can of diced green chilies, which she does call for in there, and then our topping is going to be pork rind crumbs, parmes grated parmesan cheese, and uh, sliced tomatoes for a garnish. We're going to skillet it. Let's put it on medium heat. Let's get her warmed up. So we're starting to heat up. Let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, spray it with some olive oil. While it's coming up. Okay. And let's pour in our heavy whipping cream. That's about half a jug. And we're going to add in another one. Now, what we want to do is just kind of stir it and let it reduce. All right, I don't know if you can see, I'm starting to get little bitty bubbles. And I've been stirring every every couple minutes. And we're starting to thicken up a little bit. Your fat's starting to separate, uh, the olive oil and then uh, the heavy whipping cream. So that means we're reducing. So now, take your can of green chilies that you've uh, drained. Drop those in there. Get you a handful of diced onion. Uh, roughly, what is that, about a cup, cup or so, half a cup. Let's throw a cup in there. Let's just throw about a cup in there. It's not going to hurt nothing. Okay, stir that in. You have a second can of green chilies. Go ahead and add that in too. That'd be awesome. This is just what I had. Okay. Let's 
let the bubble start to come back up and then we'll go to the next step. I don't know if y'all can see the little bitty bubbles coming up. That's cool. That's good. Let's go ahead and uh, the rest of it will go pretty quick. So let's start our oven at 350 degrees. Now we're going to add about a cup or so of shredded mozzarella. Stir that in so it melts. And let's get a cup of our triple cheddar. Stir that in so it melts. <clears throat> okay, so now what I have is a 12 inch uh, enameled cast iron. So I'm going to quickly spray that real quick with uh, just a little bit of olive oil, just cause. And then I'm going to take some sketty squash that we roasted and put in here. Okay. Now I want to pour in some of our roux. Right. And we'll stir that up. All right. So you see, we got we got about uh, two thirds of that mixture in here, and we got all the all the roux in there, all the cheese sauce. So let's flatten this out. The oven's already heated up to 350 degrees. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this topped and ready to so go. I'm gonna take some of my uh, pork grind crumbs and just go over the top. Just shaking, shaking some on top. We're going to add a little bit of grated Parmesan. What's left of our cheddar mix? Now the sketty squash is already seasoned with uh, Uncle Steve's Texas Cajun. So, and you're going to have a lot of salt in the um, pork grinds and the um, cheese so I'm just gonna come in with a little bit of my homemade Bayou Bear just to sprinkle on top it's got a, it's a mild Cajun seasoning with less salt so now let's get it in the oven
been about 40 minutes. Let's take a look and see what she looks like. Oh, what do you think of that, Pay? Looks good. Let's, let's pull it out here and see if we can. Ooh, that does look good, don't it? Getting some nice good browning up there. So let's go ahead and pull this out. All right, so here it is sitting out, 40 minutes. Let's let it cool for a little bit, and then we'll give it a taste test. Oh, it's that time. Let's let's get this plated up, and uh, whew. I'm going to take a little skillet. Just want a little bit of this. Mm. bit bigger bigger serving than what I anticipated on but mm -mm -mm. all right let's, let's take a couple little tomatoes and let's just slice them drop them on However many you want. I think just a couple will work. All right. Now some chopped parsley for a garnish. did her taste test she's not feeling the greatest she's stressed with homework and still can cuss from work it's a whole mess but anyway I'm gonna give it a whirl and let you all know what I think hmm. get a nice bite there get a tomato hmm that is very good you do get the smoke, you do get the heat, comes in the back end. You get the little texture from the tomato, a little bite before, uh, and, and the, the cheese gives you, with the pork rinds, gives you a little bit of texture break. Does it replace a noodle? No. But is it darn good? Yeah. Mm. It's a winner. Winner, winner. So we took Nikki's recipe, swapped it out, put our spin on it, and I believe it's keto. Y'all have a great one.